and they only blast in three days per week. Tomando todas las medidas con una población. We're making sure that all the, the measures, the necessary measures are, are, are put in place with the, the population and every other thing that's on the site. Y tratando de que no sea muy fuerte para que no ocasionen tanta molestia a, a las personas que viven alrededor. And trying to design the blast in such a way that it wouldn't have this too big an aftershock and uh, uh, molest the, the residents in the area too much. Así que soy optimista cuando pienso que terminaremos antes de junio del 2011 con este tipo de trabajo. So I am saying being the optimist that he is, he thinks that they will finish this blasting even before the June, the June 2011 date. Okay, now are they continuing to receive the full cooperation of the residents in the area? Bueno, esta, esta, esta es una pregunta que sí tenemos algunas observaciones. This is a um, question that they have uh, one, of the, one, one or two observations. Al, eh, se ha dicho que la jugadora siempre suena a la una de la tarde. It has been announced that the blasting is always at one in the afternoon. Uh, siempre avisamos, <coughs> avisamos por distintos medios que se va a producir la voladura. And they trying to warn the residents by using the different, different um, means mm -hmm. when the blast will be taking place. Hay camiones que en diferentes lugares comienzan a tocar el claxon. They claxon have trucks that um, start from different points blowing their horns. Muchas personas cooperan y son disciplinados con este, con este trabajo. And a lot of people they cooperate with um, with the, the measures and they are very disciplined. Pero no todo como quisieron. <laughs> but uh, as, as, as we know, not all of the people cooperate in mm -hmm. that way. Quisiéramos que el 100% de las personas cooperaran con esta con esta importante medida de seguridad de retirarse en el peligro en, en el área que está comprendida. We would we would love that 100% um, of the people living in the in the area within the <coughs> danger zone would cooperate and uh, evacuate when once the the the, the blasting starts. Entonces. Tenemos algunos problemas a veces con algunas personas que se ponen a caminar cerca del área. So we have uh, one or two problems with um, people that might be walking in the areas okay. around the blasting time. Mm -hmm. Incluso hem hemos tenido que demorar algunos días a, a, a los lo tiros por alguna persona indisciplinada que se mete cerca de los lugares. And on, on, on certain days, they have had days when they have to delay the blasting because they would have people I'm coming to close to, to the blasting site and stuff like that. Yo quisiera hacer un llamado por este medio a que la una de la tarde, entre el martes, el miércoles y el jueves, que estén muy atentos todo el que vive cerca para que se retiren de los lugares donde están previstos. So you want to use this opportunity to again announce to the public that on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays at one in the afternoon, they will be doing the blasting and they are expecting that within the, the danger zone, within that radius, that no one should be present. Yeah, we know that um, a number of persons, well, like you say, a lot of people have been cooperating with us because the bus takes yes, people out of the area yes, during the day. Right. And we want to continue to say thank you to those persons who are cooperating with us and to those who and not or um, might feel that like it is a bother to ask them that it is for your own safety that you cooperate with us when you hear the horns or when the bus comes around to take you out of the area to do that to ensure your own safety and as you have heard before august 13th thursday was one year one year to the day since construction on the argyle international airport began and uh, the professor here has been leading the Chateauier Che contingent, carrying on the work in the first kilometer of the runway. Now, Professor, could you share with us some of the highlights of the year, some of the things that stood out most for you? Sobre todo, la disciplina de los trabajadores. It's above all the discipline that um, the workers show. Tanto los trabajadores vicentinos como los trabajadores cubanos trabajan muchas horas en el día y, y, y lo hacen con, con mucha disposición, con mucho amor por este trabajo. 
the Cuban as well as the Vincent workers, they're working some very long extended hours in the day and they seem to be doing it um, with a lot of love. You see the, 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 that love in them to with the job they're doing. Yo siento que ellos también se han, se han enamorado de esta hora del aeropuerto. Sí, yeah, so he feels that they have also fell in love with this airport project that we are embarking on. Eh, lamentan cuando, cuando llueve mucho. Eh, lamentan a veces algunos que no pueden seguir trabajando por efecto de la lluvia. Lamentan que no pueden seguir. And the, a lot of them would, would, would feel sorry when it is raining that they, that they can't work. Y los domingos también se trabaja y se trabaja los sábados. Se trabaja They have been working on Sundays and Saturdays, practically every day. Eh, eso es lo que más me, 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 me impresiona de, la, de esta obra del aeropuerto. This is what most we eh, have that impression on him in terms of the construction of the airport. Y, y sobre todo las buenas relaciones entre, entre ellos, entre cubanos, vicentinos, dirigentes del contingente, de la compañía, el, la, la, la relación tan estrecha que se ha creado en el trabajo del trabajo. El mayor reto ha sido ahora con la lluvia. So his biggest challenge has been the rain. Tener que buscar soluciones constantemente para poder continuar el trabajo y no, y, y, y no afectar la, la fecha que está prevista para entregar el aeropuerto. With, with, um, with it constant rain, they have to, they have to constantly be looking for solutions and uh, different ways of, of confronting the work that they have to do so that they won't have delays. San Vincent es un, es un Es un país que llueve mucho. Saint Vincent, Saint Vincent is a country that um, receives a lot of rain. Está eh, bendecido por Dios esta lluvia que tiene San Vicente, porque es, es maravilloso. It is a blessing uh, from God the amount of rain that Saint Vincent receives. It, it is marvelous. Y, pero eh, re, eh, realmente para el trabajo de la construcción. Eh, Hay veces que hay actividades que no se pueden hacer. But for the construction of the airport, when it rains that much, uh, there are activities that they cannot, they cannot do. Entonces hay que prolongar la, la jornada laboral el, eh, para tratar de recuperar ese tiempo. So for that reason, they have to, to let the work in the, so that they can try to recuperate all the time they lose when it rains. Pero lo más impresionante es que es un proyecto bastante difícil. And the most impressive thing is that it is a very, very difficult project, a very complicated project. Que yo creo que todos los vicentinos cuando termine este aeropuerto se van a sentir orgullosos de haber hecho una, una obra tan difícil. And if you believe that when, once we have completed the construction of the airport, every Vincentian would be, feel very proud of having completed such a, a beautiful and complicated project. I agree with you. And that is a good note on which to end, Professor. Thank you so much, Aluko. Thank you for being here with us. And I want to thank you, the viewers, for taking the time off to be with us here this evening. I want to continue to ask Vincentians to support the Argyle International Airport. It is in all of our interest that this airport is built and that it is built on time. And remember that if you want to make a personal contribution to the airport development, there is the Argyle International Airport Contributory Fund, and that fund is set up at the National Commercial Bank. We want to thank you again. Good night.